Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is your brother Farhan Abdul Aziz recording for the Daily Reminder. Now that we're at the end of Ramadan and we're looking back and seeing, subhanAllah, where did the time go? The question that we have to ask ourselves, brothers and sisters, is not how much weight did we lose or maybe how much weight did we gain this Ramadan. Really the question we have to ask ourselves is, have we increased in our awareness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Are we more aware of Allah in, in our daily actions and when we're you know, driving to work, when we're with our family, when we're with our friends, when we're with our colleagues? In every moment of our life, are we more aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not? And subhanAllah, brothers and sisters, as we reflect on the end of Ramadan, let this be a powerful moment in our lives where we reflect on our life and think, what, what have we done so far and where are we going? How am I going to draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because this Ramadan, I hope that we've all experienced something, experienced closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We've all worshipped Allah more than we were doing in the previous 11 months. And, and the reality is, is that we, we've demonstrated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we've demonstrated to ourselves that what we just did this month, we can, we're able to do, we're physically able to fast, we're physically able to go to the masjid. And the unfortunate reality is, brothers and sisters, is that many of us, now that Ramadan is coming to an end, we're going to go back to our old ways. We're going to go back to living our life like we used to live. We're not going to be going to the masjid anymore. We're not going to be reading Qur'an anymore. And, and you know the sign of an accepted deed, the sign of an accepted Ramadan in this case, is that after the, the period is over, when you, when you move on, you're a different person, you're a changed person. So my humble advice to myself and to everyone else, brothers and sisters, is that we choose at least one action that we were doing this Ramadan be it making dua every night, be it reading Qur'an every day, or being going to the masjid for salah every day. Something that we were doing this Ramadan, at least one thing, make it a habit the rest of your life. Make sure every single day now, the rest of your life, until next Ramadan, you're going to continue to read Qur'an every day, or whatever it is that you choose. And that way, next Ramadan, you'll choose something else. And inshallah ta'ala, if we do that, we'll continue to draw close to Allah ta'ala. But unfortunately, you know, some people, what they'll do is, you know, they won't even pray the five daily prayers, but they'll go to Taraweeh in the Masjid in Ramadan, right? They'll pray the Sunnah prayer, which is not even required, but they'll miss the Fab prayers, or they won't pray it at all, right? And SubhanAllah, you know, it's as if, it's as if, you know, we worship Ramadan, but don't worship the Lord of Ramadan. You know, it's as if we worship Ramadan itself. As soon as Ramadan's over, back to drinking alcohol, going to the club, hanging out with the boyfriend or the girlfriend, disrespecting our parents, cheating in exams, lying, stealing, backbiting, you name it. It's as if nothing happened. And you know, subhanAllah, brothers and sisters, you know when the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam fell sick, and he was in his last moments, he was, he was, uh, his, 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 his wife narrates that the Prophet was lying down with his head between her chin and her chest. And, and in his last moments, he raised his hand, and he said, Allahumma rafiq al-a'la. Allahumma rafiq al-a'la. Oh Allah, I asked you, I asked you for companionship with the highest. Meaning, I asked you for companionship with you. I want to be your companion. Right, he was, now Aisha says that when he Sallam, said this, she knew that he had chosen to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not stay in this world. And when he passed away, the ummah fell into a state of confusion and chaos. Like no one knew what to do. Uthman wa he couldn't even speak. He couldn't even speak. The narration says, for second, he couldn't even speak. Ali he, he, he sat down in the house of Fatima in, in, in his home. Abu al-Khattab, he, he actually stood up in front of the companions in, in Masjid Nabawi. And he pulled out his sword and he said, he says, whoever says, whoever claims that Muhammad has died, then I will kill him with this sword of mine. He hasn't died. He hasn't died. He will never die. Abu Bakr al-Anhu, when he heard the news and the Messenger of Allah passed away, he came, he was out of town, he came into Medina, and he came into the masjid, and he, 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 you know, he went into the room of Abu Aisha, his daughter, where the Prophet passed away. And the Messenger of Allah, he found him with his face covered. And he uncovered his face and he kissed him on the forehead. And he said that you have died the death that Allah has written for you. And Allah will never allow you know cause you to die twice. You you've passed away. Then he comes out and he finds Omar telling addressing the people and he says, Omar, sit down, stop. And Omar didn't listen in his in his emotional state that he was in Allah. Then Abu Bakr then begins addressing the crowd and the and the, and the people you know gravitate towards Abu Bakr Allah. And he says, Amma ba'd, faman kana Muhammadan, fa inna Muhammadan qad mat. He says that whoever used to worship Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, know that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has passed away. وَمَنْ كَانَ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ حَيُّ لَا يَمُوتُ And whoever used to worship Allah, know that Allah is alive and He never dies. This woke the companions up from their, from their state of shock. And honestly, brothers and sisters, 
The same can be said for, for our Ummah right now. That after Ramadan, we just all go back to sleep. It's as if we forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forget about our duties to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the same reminder needs to be given. مَنْ كَانَ يَعْبُدُ رَمَضَانَ فَإِنَّ رَمَضَانَ قَدْ فَاتْ Whoever used to worship Ramadan, then know that Ramadan has passed. It's, it's, it's done. Ramadan is over, Eid is now here, and we're done. We're, we're over with Ramadan. وَمَنْ كَانَ يَعْمُدُ اللَّهِ فَإِنَّ اللَّهِ حَيُّ لَا يَمُوتُ But whoever amongst you used to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, know that Allah is alive and He never dies. And, 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 and that's my advice to you, brothers and sisters, that we continue worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We choose something this Ramadan. We don't fall into the trap of just, you know, worshiping Allah in Ramadan, but we choose something, at least one thing, and maybe more. And we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throughout Ramadan with this. With that, I close. We ask Allah to, to, to give us the tawfiq to be amongst those who worship Him throughout the year and draw close to them every single day of our lives until we meet Him. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org slash donate. And stay updated by joining our network's social links.